See the numbers going up? It's cold and flu season. Most adults get sick once or twice, but for small kids, it can be a lot worse. Studies show your child could have fever, cough, sniffles, and more as many as six to ten times a year. Hello, I'm Dr. Sandra Freihofer. So how do you keep everyone else healthy when a family member is sick? Here's what I tell my patients, my prescription for staying well. Wash your hands. You've heard it before, I'll say it again. Wash your hands every chance you get. Wash them for as long as it takes to sing happy birthday twice. It's the single most effective way to keep from getting sick from any type of germ. If soap and water's not available, use an alcohol-based hand gel. Don't touch your nose or your face. Most viruses are passed by contact with mucous fluids, so keep your hands away from your mouth, nose, and eyes. That's important all during cold and flu season, but it's especially important if you're around someone who's sick. Confine the illness. Do your best to isolate the sick person. Put them in a different bed or bedroom, and if that's not possible and you have to share a bed, sleep with your back to them. The same goes for a sick child who crawls into bed with mommy and daddy. Now, that's when it really gets tough. Sanitize common areas. Unfortunately, rhinovirus, the most common type of cold virus, can live on things like telephones, stair railings, door handles for several hours, maybe even a few days. That's why hands are not the only things to keep clean. Wipe down all high-touch areas with disinfectant. In the kitchen, that means places like silverware drawers, sink faucets, trash cans, doorknobs, as well as refrigerator and cupboard handles. In the bathroom, be sure to clean shower doors, tubs, and toilet flushers. Clean the toilet twice a week with disinfectant and close the lid before flushing. You don't want germs from your toilet to wind up on your toothbrush. Speaking of toothbrushes, change them often, at least every three months and immediately after any sickness. You don't want to reinfect yourself. Everyone in the family should have their own color-coded toothbrush. Be sure to store them at least an inch apart to avoid cross-contamination. Don't share. Obviously, you don't want to eat or drink after someone who's sick. Consider using color-coded drinking glasses or disposable cups. After all, it's easy to mistake the dirty dishes for clean ones. Color coding is also a good idea for hand and bath towels so family members won't spread germs. And be sure to wash all towels and sheets more often during cold and flu season and use hot water. Jumpstart your own immune system. Regular exercise, good nutritious meals, and plenty of sleep won't kill germs, but your immune system will have a stronger chance of fighting them off if you're living healthy. You might consider adding a multivitamin. And last but not least, check with your doctor about getting a flu shot. Flu is serious business. It kills over 36,000 Americans each year. For WebMD, I'm Dr. Sandra Freihofer.